here's Sam. When we were first introduced to Sam in the beta, I said he was the worst character in the game. Kind of because he was. But now I take everything back. Because Sam is easily, easily the best character in this game by a long shot. And today, we're going to talk about why. Ding, ding, knockout! Hello everyone, my name is Swingpoint and welcome to Resident Evil Resistance. This is the multiplayer game bundled with Resident Evil 3. And let's take a look at Sam. Sam is so good now. In the beta, he wasn't, but now he is so good that I would say there's a chance that this video is not going to mean anything in a month because they're probably going to do something about him. So let's take a look at his skills. We'll take a look at the equipment that I have on him. And then we'll take a look at what he's like in a real match so you can see just how ridiculous Sam is, okay? And we're going to talk a little bit about finishers as well in case that's something that people have been a little confused with. So first, let's talk about his first passive, Adrenaline. You can either run Exhilaration or you can run Surge. Basically, the point of the skill is to make it so his Fever skill is available to you more often. Sam can hit a lot of finishers. So, I've been running Exhilaration. It's a 120 second cooldown. You can get it down to 90 seconds if you run Surge because every enemy kill reduces it by 3 seconds. But if you get two finishers in a row, that's 40 seconds just like that. And trust me, Sam's going to get a lot of finishers, so that's why I've been running Exhilaration. And now onto Sam's other passive, Brawler. There's a lot of reasons why Brawler's ridiculous, and they're a little bit under the hood, and we'll start talking about them. So the default is focused. This makes it so Sam's damage goes up. Some people have suggested that it makes other people's damage go up, I haven't confirmed that, so I'm not going to be the one that tells you it's true. If there's other people in the comments that feel this way or have tested it, please let me know. But I haven't seen it, and I haven't tested it, so I'm not going to be the one saying that. Either way, Blunt Force is what I've been running. Because what Blunt Force does is it allows you to do an extra 20% uh, more damage, and you're going to spend about 20% uh, more per swing from your melee weapon. It makes it so you do greatly increased damage with your melee weapons at the cost of their durability depleting faster. Reason why that doesn't matter is because Sam doesn't need resources anyway, and we're going to talk about that with his other skills. So, part of the reason why Sam is so ridiculously broken <laughs> is because of his dash punch. His dash punch can just go boom, 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 boom. It has no cooldown when you're not connecting on an enemy. Also, when it does connect on an enemy, its cooldown's only two seconds. <laughs> There's two variations. There's Relentless, and there's Recover. Run, Recover. Run, Recover. Run, Recover. Recover is what makes him so good. The lack of Recover is what made him so meh in the beta. Recover allows you to heal and reduce infection whenever you make contact with an enemy. And when you hit a dash punch, it does a lot of damage. <clears throat> Relentless makes it so you deal more damage after hitting a creature and your follow-up punches can be more powerful. But Recover's just so good at making it so you can just go straight into a swarm and clear out everything and just be okay. You're just completely fine. It doesn't matter. He is so good against Annette. He is so good against Spencer. Basically, the only way you counter Sam is don't have creatures. So, as much as I like to make fun of Gun Spencer... Gun Spencer is the best against him. Or actually, Trap Alex is really good against him, too. The problem with Gun Spencer, again, is that you can just shoot back. But you have to take away the creatures. If there's any creatures on the map, Sam is too good. So imagine trying to poison him, and you can't. Imagine trying to hurt him, but you can't. After he connects with a dash punch, there's a tick that goes on on him. It goes 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. He's healing 50 health every single time it ticks, and his infection rate's going down. So, it's pretty nuts. And now to add to that craziness, you also have Fists of Iron, his fever skill. There's some things to know about Fists of Iron. So with Fists of Iron active, you're only using your fists. You can't throw a grenade. You can't use your melee weapon. You can't do a lot of stuff. You're only using your fists. So if you want to throw something, you have to cancel out your fever skill. Not that big a deal, but I've gotten hung up on it before, so I wanted to let you guys know. There's two options here. You have Immortal and you have Brute Force. Brute Force makes it so you do more damage. Greatly increases damage dealt by Fists of Iron, basically meaning his punch. And every time that he goes ahead and kills an enemy, it increases how long his finisher is active by another three seconds. Something to talk about in the description of this, though, is it makes finishers easier. 
There's a reason why it makes finishers easier. And really all it is, is that he's doing more damage. From what I've been able to test with finishers. It is purely how much damage you're doing and how much health the creature has left. A combo of those two things. It has nothing to do with critical hits. If the game decides that you're about to have a critical hit, maybe that'll increase your damage. But purely it is damage and how much health the creature has left. We were able to walk through on stream, twitch.tv slash swingpoint. We were able to test this on stream. We walked by creature, by creature, by creature, by creature, by creature, and we did a finisher to all of them with no critical hit equipment attached. And we had a 100% finisher rate. It has nothing to do with critical hits. So the reason why Sam is so good at finishers is because he does so much more damage than everybody else. So he's more likely to be within that threshold. Other things that are required for a finisher, you have to be close to the zombie or the creature. And they have to be some sort of affected already or stunned. I don't know if stunned is the correct word, but they have to be affected by something. So that can be either getting pushed back by their own zombies, because that happens sometimes. It could be a flashbang. It could be a grenade making them go, whoa. It could be hitting them once with a melee weapon or a punch. Either way, there has to be something already affecting them. From what I've been able to see, you're not going to be able to just walk up to a creature and just finisher it. If you've done that, it's probably because a zombie already made it stutter a little bit. And now for Sam's other variation, Immortal. So like I said, dash punch with recover is ridiculous. Immortal makes it more ridiculous. <laughs> so when you have Immortal on, your damage also goes up with your dash punch and your fists. Not as much as brute force, but it does still go up and he's so strong anyway that you don't need brute force, it's overkill. Immortal makes it so you're also getting an extra 80 health per tick. So pop, 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 pop. So if you use Immortal and then you follow up with a dash punch, you're getting 130 health per tick. I don't know if it's per second, but it's definitely per tick. And then on top of that, you kill a creature that 130 goes up to 150, or maybe it's 150 on its own. I don't know. Either way, he's ridiculous and really hard to take down because you can't poison him. You can't hurt him. He doesn't need a weapon to do damage because he can use his hands. This, all of it together is where Sam becomes broken where he becomes ridiculous where he had the worst win rate in the game by like seven points and then out of nowhere he surged and now he's up with everyone else because he's so good after he reaches level 11 and he gets even better at level 23 once he gets immortal and in case i haven't already spelled it out enough sam is so good because he doesn't need a resources he does not need to buy blue herbs he does not need to buy green herbs. He does not need to buy a better melee weapon at the beginning of the game. He can run with his two by four all the way to the end. If you wanna buy a torch early, go right ahead because he's really good with it. But again, he doesn't need to buy blue herbs, green herbs. He doesn't need to pick up a different melee weapon at the beginning of the game. And that makes it so that his blunt force isn't that big of an issue. You might be like, oh wow, an extra 20%. That's gonna use up a lot more repair kits. Fine! Go right ahead! Use up as many as you want! It doesn't matter! <laughs> because he's gonna have so many credits at the end of the game anyway, because he doesn't have to buy anything ever, because he doesn't have an economy. You're gonna have so many credits at the end because he, he doesn't have to heal himself. He doesn't even have to use a melee weapon. So, you know, you're worried about your repair kits. Screw it. Just start punching stuff because he's so strong anyway. He's ridiculous, man. And to top it off, he can zoom around the whole map with his dash punch as long as he's not connecting with anyone. So he just moves faster than everyone else does. So you take all of that, what makes him so ridiculous, and then you have equipment. You make him even stronger. So I'm running Iron Nails 3, Iron Nails 2. This one, it can be really whatever you want. I have Batting Glove on right now. What I was running before was I was running Gas Mask 1 because he's already so good at resisting infection. I want to make it so he never gets infected. Either way, you can put a bunch of different stuff as long as it's two points or cheaper in this slot. And then I'm also running Survival Kit. Frankly, I don't know that you need to run Survival Kit because he's going to heal himself anyway. But then this way, I don't have to worry about green herbs at all. I have all four of my hotkeys available for like spray plays or enhancing sprays because he's already so strong. May as well make him stronger. Buy some yellow herbs. You can because you can afford it because he doesn't have to buy anything because he's Sam. He's ridiculous. Now, like I said before, the way you counter Sam is you don't give him creatures. 
So you can do Gun Spencer, but then you're going to run into the situation where if you run into a smart Sam player, you know what he's going to do? He's going to buy a gun and he's going to shoot back at your cameras. Or he can run Trap Alex. Trap Alex isn't as cool as she used to be because they nerfed how traps take off time. So Sam's sitting in a really powerful position right now where creatures can not do anything to him. Gun Spencer's really easy to counter and Trap Alex is kind of mwah compared to what she used to be. So... Sam's the best in the game, and it's not even close. I'm like, I, I think I have to. I'm Sam, so I shouldn't be. So I have a funny story for you. <laughs> Told you earlier that the counter to Sam is a gun Spencer, right? Because creatures are food for Sam. Take those away, he doesn't have any food. So first match I tried doing, we go up against the gun Spencer and he destroys us because of a strat that he's using where if you have defense system on and full cooling fans, your cameras recover faster than the defense system allows your security devices to be completed so basically you just get stuck in area two and there's nothing you can do about it unless you have a jan and then if you have a jan the strategy suddenly becomes useless because she can lock down a camera <laughs> so they beat us in the first match and they beat us pretty hard because we didn't have a jan and then i re -queue. oh here's a baby spencer now and then i re -queue. And it goes up against the same spencer except that time our comp had a jan and then in this screen when you can see who you're going against and what the players are Right I here, I get disconnected from the same person. The as soon as they saw the Jan, I was like, okay. Virus, but we shall proceed. <laughs> <laughs> so it was pretty funny that... <laughs> well, I was trying to record. I actually have it recorded, too. I was trying to record for this, and then the guy disconnects because he knows that he's going to get destroyed because there's a Jan on the team because it's a complete cheese strat. And if Jan's there, he completely counters it, or she completely counters it. And then you're useless again, because that's a, that's the crux of Gun Spencer. You just gotta shoot back at the cameras. And Jan is the one that prevents cheese from happening, which is really funny. So this is a baby Spencer, though. And I could sit here and play all day, and maybe I'll finally get a high rank in net, but I just kind of want to show you how Sam works. Baby Spencer here should show us enough about creatures, so you can kind of see how things work. So, oh. We're gonna have all sorts of icons here. The way that you can tell if you have a legit piece is once you grab yeah i'm not getting a legit piece once you grab you'll see the little key underneath the timer turn blue and that means you get a real one and once all of those are there then you can all run back to the exit but if you pick them up and that little key doesn't trigger there i got a real one there if that little key doesn't trigger then you got a fake piece so that's how you deal with that I'm just running into everything. I guess I'm not super concerned about what's going on. Let's see what we got in here. Um, Flop you out here. I have ammo. I don't need ammo. I can drop it for people later. Ooh, someone died. Interesting. Okay, well, let's keep running here. I haven't seen any creatures yet. And he's a rank 3 Spencer, so he's going to have to do something. Now, I don't have a gun because I was expecting creatures here because he's a baby Spencer. And default Spencer's deck is meh. And there is creatures in it. Oh, here's a creature. Let's see. So here's how I'm going to heal up, as long as he doesn't bite me. Now you see how my health starts going up? Now, if I had infection, my infection would start recovering, too. But you can just see that. Oh, look at that. And now Sam's so strong, he's like, one-hit stuff. Like, if you hit a regular zombie with a torch, you're going to do so much damage that it's going to die before it can do anything. Because the damage over time from the torch is going to kill it, too. So Sam with the torch is ridiculous. I should run back, I'm being stupid. So something that something that they did do to this game was they patched it and you the same time that they you have this, did you? really what? hurt Alex with the oh, come on, I was right here. When they really hurt Alex with the time bomb nerf, they also made it so that torches 
Oh, wow, you're holding the door open, too. Nice. They also made it so that torches burn out an extra 30% durability compared to what they did before. So they actually did make torches weaker. But I feel like a lot of people don't realize that. Because they're still really good. Huh. Check this out. But yeah, it's going to be a baby Spencer here, and it's going to be a pretty easy match, but... I'm going to go grab these umbrella credits real quick here. So many walk into the next test. Good. So I into this next area here. I could either buy a sledgehammer now. Or... I if I don't get don't one, I'm just going to wait. You managed this against my will. I don't have one yet. But again, Sam doesn't I have to buy anything. To Something I like to do with Sam when I run survival kit is I like to throw stuff into my hotkeys here. I can get rid of the herb if I want to. I'll usually save that for a spray play. I'm going to put ammo right here for y'all to pick up. Maybe something. There we go. Nice. Watch trap. Watch trap. Didn't watch the trap, chat. Didn't watch the trap. You feel kind of bad for these default decks. I swear it's all... I either run into that or like the exact opposite of what I'm looking for when I'm recording. I tried to back up there, but Jan's like, I want it on my face. So, right here, these ivies, two ways to really easily kill them. With a torch? Oh, God! I think it died. Maybe it didn't die. Yeah, the fire kills it with a torch or a molotov. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of trouble killing an ivy, and you don't want to play the game of, like, sneaking by him because they'll grab you and one-hit you. Let's go find Yorick around here, huh? You know, on the topic of critical hits when it comes to... melee weapons, I'm not sure that you can critical hit armor. Okay, well, I'm just not going to go through it, actually. <laughs> nope. <laughs> USA, USA. Aaron's gone now. You can hear it leave. He's probably so bummed. <laughs> He's like, I got a leg hole trap here, and I'm going to hit him, and then go, go, boy, I'm going to go die. I'm going to get hurt here. Rip. But it didn't work out. So I can get my dash in here and just start healing again. See, I got to back up. There we go. I don't have a gun on me because I wasn't really super worried about it. And Yorick's probably in here? I'll find it. You see. I Ooh. Am coming to get you. They either took Yorick and hit him, or we just haven't seen him because he can be on the other side here, perhaps? You see. I'm picking up ammo, but I usually end up giving it to other people. You think he's running around with Yorick? He might be. That's exciting. All right, so let's go and... He's got to be back here, huh? You sneaky. You little sneaky. Now, Torch is really good against armored zombies. Because of the damage over time. Yeah, it's crazy how good it is. So let's go get these done. Look at that sneaky play, taking Yorick and put him in the freaking spawn. I don't know where y'all are running. I'm going to go do this one. Oh, wow. Grab me right before I open the door. So something, another thing you can do to counter Sam. Let's say you're playing as a net. I should have talked about that. This might hurt. Yeah. Something you can do to counter Sam is... Ooh, is he going to shoot at me? So these take like 10 seconds. You see that? This is where I'm talking where you can be a really cheesy gun spencer and you just hold them down there because... If you run full cooling fan on your cameras... Your camera's gonna recover in five seconds, and then your security devices here take 10 seconds when defense system's on. So, unless you have a Jan, you can't do anything about it because the shield's gonna last a while, and you're gonna keep people off, and you're gonna recover before you can get this done. It's pretty much a game over unless you have a Jan. It's a really cheesy thing to do. But, if you have a Jan, Gun Spencer goes back to being useless, which is hilarious, because all Jan has to do in that situation is either use Lockdown if she has it, or if she has Instant on her personal skill, all she has to do is shoot out the camera, and then follow up with a... Is it over here? And then follow up with hacking it again when it's recovering. Yeah, I'll watch that. They'll shoot it out probably, right? So now you see how this is recovering here? So what Jan can do, even if she has instant, is she can hack, like, right now. And once she finishes it, it's going to bring it all the way back down to zero. Which, from what I'm able to judge, is why that person disconnected as soon as they saw a Jan. Which was hilarious to me. It means they're going around cheesing as their Spencer. And then as soon as they get somebody that can counter them, they give up right away. Which is really funny to me. 
<laughs> oh well. So he's probably gonna shoot me here? Yeah. See now what he should be doing is provoking me a little bit. Oh, it's the auto turret, never mind. Okay. So they're shooting at it. I don't have a gun on me because again, this isn't like a full blown gun Spencer, it's a default Spencer, so I'm gonna worry about it too hard. But honestly, this is how you'd play him often, is you just don't have to buy that much stuff. You just make sure you have your green herbs on you. I have seen people talk about a pharmacy build on Sam, which I think is really interesting. Sam can also zoom around like that, which is a really easy way to get him out of trouble and make it so it's hard for guns to hit him. So as you can see, that gun sensor couldn't aim at me fast enough. I just went underneath his gun. So that's another thing you can do with Sam. He can just go zoom, 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 zoom everywhere. If he makes contact, then he has to go into his cooldown, but his cooldown is only two seconds anyway, so doesn't really matter. So I just go over here and just be like, nope, nope, nope. There you go. And now I'll show you how much damage Sam does to the cores. He also has a ton of credits on him probably. We're kind of zooming through this, so we're probably not picking up as many credits. But there's been several times when I've played as Sam and I have like a thousand credits in the final area because you just don't have to buy anything. If you don't get a sledgehammer area too, don't waste your money on a bat because Sam doesn't use Do a bat very well like Tyrone does I or Becca does. He doesn't swing ahead. very quickly like the other two do. So yeah, now I can sit here and buy a ton of repair kits. Like who cares? I can get rid of some other stuff in my inventory. Are they even dropping repair kits for me? I'll keep the torch on me so I can kind of cycle with creatures because it's so good against, you know, like armored creatures. But yeah, they're dropping repair kits. I'll even buy some yellow herbs because who cares? Um, they're just good to go, really. Yeah, I'll buy another yellow herb. And then I'll walk around with my sprays. And we'll be good to go. And now to see kind of Sam's power, I can be like, BAM! Oh, they killed him before I got there. So since Sam has so much economy, you can typically afford to buy yellow herbs at the end, which makes him even stronger and more resource efficient. That 50 that you spend is gonna be really, really good for you in terms of conserving stuff, right? I think more importantly, enhancing herbs are really good against masterminds in the end when you're trying to conserve resources, but let's see if I can get a sledgehammer hit in here. I'm just gonna try to gun for me a little bit here. I'm gonna hit this. Oh, I, ooh, it didn't connect. At like 2700 there. Okay, so let me go ahead and make sure everybody gets a sniff here. Ooh, zoom! There we go. Let's go. Oh, she's using her ult. What are you doing? Don't hit me with that. Okay, Becca. Use your ult. You're right. It's all yours. Okay. Can I do mine now? Okay. <laughs> Ooh, we got this guy over here. He must have a broken leg. Something that's good against Sam, I forgot to mention this earlier. I was going to start talking about it, but something that's good against Sam is biting him. If you're running a high swarm a net, Sam's going to clear you. But what you have to do when you play a net, I talked about this in my sandwich video, is you have to keep controlling creatures and then biting Sam. So... Okay! Let me... So I can do... You are the most annoying player in the world. Whoever's doing that. Oh my lord. Why am I stuck? Why am I still walking? What's happening? Why can't I... Oh no. My keyboard. My keyboard gets stuck sometimes. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, I'm fixed. I just walked right through that. Well, something you can see with Sam here. I actually kind of want to hit a creature to really show you. My keyboard's breaking. Okay, let's see if this works. I want to see if I can hit a creature here. Oh, goody, down me. That's fine. Go pick me up. And it'll give me a chance to go ahead and show you Sam's immortal here. Usually want to use immortal against creatures, but, you know, baby Spencer can't keep up. That's just the way their, their deck works out. But I really, again, I want to see a creature here. Oh, I'm next to Valerie, so her my heals do more. Dang. Okay, let's go find a creature here. It's over there. Will I be able to hit this one, Becca? You gonna let me? Or are you gonna sploosh me the whole time? Okay, so I'm gonna hit here. See, I'm healing 50 and now I use a mortal. So I'm healing 130 a tick. 
And now if I kill him, it might go up to 150. You get like an extra 150 on top of that. Isn't that nuts? Really good on Sam, right? Now I can sit here and punch this. And it does a decent amount of damage over time. But what I prefer to do here is run this with the sledgy, just because it's more fun. Look at that, 3,000. I'm yellow herbed up and Valerie also scanned. But he just does a disgusting amount of damage. Now, if you're trying to really conserve resources like against the super core, I would use your ult as much as you can because, you know, Spencer will make you run out. But, yeah, this is Sam for you. I hope I'm telling you a bunch of things they may or may not have known or other strategies about Spencer, that type of stuff. Sam's really good against the net. He's pretty good against Daniel because he can do really strong damage. Like, if you get a torch on Sam, a no knockback Daniel's gonna suffer because Sam does so much damage and that damage over time is really crazy. So those, ooh, you know, I always wonder, can you throw a grenade through one of these? What happens if I try hitting it? Ooh, look at that. I don't know if I can hit through it. I always wonder if you could throw a grenade through that thing. But yeah, this is Sam for you. He's at his best against the net. He's disproportionately good against creatures, right? So Super Core Spencer, he's really good against because he doesn't need resources and he can clear a lot. And he's also really good against the net. Gun Spencer, he's gonna get He's gonna get his That's teeth knocked in, way. but if you have a Jan on your team, it doesn't matter. Um, what else could I tell you about him? Trap Alex, he's gonna suffer too because there's no creatures, but Trap Alex isn't as good as she used to be, so you're not gonna run into her t as much. He's good against infection because he can keep up with it. He can sit there and keep healing himself through infection. We do a lot more stuff on twitch.tv slash swing point if you wanna see different examples. What? Use five yellow herbs or enhancing sprays? I was! Whatever. You can see different examples of us using Sam during those streams then. The link's in the description. We stream every single night. I'd love to have you there. Sam is one of the best characters in the game. Whenever you play a Sam, you're going to be able to just relax while you play because he's going to be disproportionately good. I don't expect it to stay that way. I'm expecting that his dash punch is going to have an extended cooldown at some point or it's going to be less effective. Maybe Immortal as well. Something I didn't really have to show you here. But you can do with a mortal is seeing as how he's just constantly healing when he has a mortal up is you can pop a mortal in area three and then sneak through the door and then if he has an, if the mastermind has an ambush set up for you he can be really good against that um yeah sam's just defies everything because he doesn't need resources and he still does a ton of damage that's why sam's so good at his core that's those things so if you guys enjoyed this if you have any other questions let me know i got other stuff to work on for this video game here if you guys have any other suggestions though let me know maybe i'll do that cheesy gun spencer build so you guys can just see what i was talking about but it's really corny and if you go up against the jan it completely falls apart that's all i got for now thank you so much for being here i'm expecting to see a lot more annoying sams when i play mastermind and i'm not looking forward to that but thank you so much for being here thank you so much for being so excited about this game and i'll see you guys in the next video that we do around here